what's popping this is drika the owner of jewels deluxe which is a charm bracelet brand um and today i'll be showing y'all how i create my photo pendants um but before we get into the video i just want to show y'all the supplies that i'm using i showed them in the video of me actually creating the stuff but i'm creating that video a few days ago and i'm very i guess camera shy i don't know but anyways and plus, I mean, I got like this little small little tripod. I don't know. But anyways, um, so yeah, I just wanted to show y'all those supplies again before we get into the actual video. And like I said, I recorded that video a few days ago. So but anyways, so I really didn't use these, but I do use them sometimes. If the glass dome don't fit in there all the way, I use it just to, you know, clamp it in there real good. But you know, my little nose pliers. Got them from Amazon. Um, you'll also see some scissors in the video. It's they they say office, you know, office depot, but honestly, you can get some scissors anywhere. And I'm pretty sure these came out of Goodwill because Office Depot, they hide with little stuff like this. So and I know Goodwill, I ain't paid that much for no scissors, okay? Alright. And this is basically a hole puncher. It's got a little clip. Yeah, I can get it. That close it and then like when you punching it they'll just go there but i leave mine open because i need to see what i'm hole punching so so i usually hole punch like that and it's fist scar and i got this from joann's in the craft section um it was like between five to nine dollars ten dollars um, and this is the size 25 mm or a one inch and that's what I got because that's if you're using a 25 mm bezel trays bubble trays whatever you want to call them um that's what you'll be using and then I got my Loctite in the video I say locked it but anyways whatever I'll be tearing up words so we're not gonna get on that okay but anyways the Loctite but I think lot did sound better, in my personal opinion. But lot tight, whatever. Glue. This is the glue, the gel one, or the super. Well, I mean, they all super glue, but the gel control one is the one I use to attach the glone, glone, glass dome <laughs> to the um, to the actual photo. But yeah, I use that one. That one works better. And I'll explain why and all that stuff. Well, I don't really explain. But anyway, you get the point. But yes, this is the gel one. And the liquid is the one I use to put the glass dome into the actual bezel. Um, I usually get out of Michael's. It runs for about $3 and some change. Um, This, if you... Well, I don't know. In my area, for some reason, I can always find this one. But I can always find this one. But the one that I usually use is the exact same thing. Say the exact same thing. It's just blue. This is blue. The top is blue. But the black one, you get this out the automotive section. And yes, I had to go to the automotive section because they only had sis, but I needed the other one. Okay, I need a big doll. Because a little doll right here be bleeding through. And no good. But yeah, so yeah, so this is the one I mainly use and that's that i also get it from dollar general get these from dollar general still can find those in the car section in dollar general i never seen it in family dollar they have it in walmart joann's or any other craft store hobby lobby i'm pretty sure they got it too it's always going to be about three dollars um so that's that and when, before you use it let's see if i can find an old one i mean a new one um because i know i have a lot of young followers and stuff so they might not so as you can see, this one is like all the way down. So before you before you open it, tell you how to, you know, to use it. You're just gonna twist it, twist it so you can't twist it no more. And then after that, you're ready to use. You ain't got to poke no hole in it. I think I've got one already in there. Okay, so now, oh, no we're not. Last but the most important, some photo paper size, four by six, a regular photo, you know, that you get out of Walmart or whatever, Walgreens, wherever you get your pictures done. But I don't be doing all that. I got my own printer. It's an HP that's jet, whatever that newest one is. But yeah, this is HP photo paper, the everyday one. It's about seven dollars. Um, you probably can get it from any 
an office light store. I got my first pack I got from Walmart, but Walmart was out. So this pack I got from Target. All right, so yeah, so now that we're done with all of this, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the actual video. Well, how I make my photo pen is. So first we're gonna go to Microsoft Word. And this is the document I'll be using, my photo pendant document. Um, sis, what are you doing? Okay, because I was about to be like, okay, girl. All right, so anyways, I already have a circle on here. And if you need to create a circle, you'll go to insert, click on shapes. And then click this oval shape and just make it look like a circle. Now, I mean, if you have the square pen, is you use a square. If you got a heart, use a heart. And they got some other little shape now. Maybe you use like this little cloud thing to make. They look something like that that you can use. Um, it's also a website that you can go to, like for little lockets that already have like the size that you'll need and you'll just insert the image on their website and print out that way. I never used it before. So if y'all wanna know what I really did, I went on the internet, um, went to Google Images, typed in 25 mm circle images or something like that. So I could base that size off of, um, off of this. But anyways, um, because I didn't know what, you know, what size to put it for. I mean, I know it was one inch, but at that time that just, when I first started months ago, that just didn't come to my head, okay? So I was just making it based off of it. And then I was like putting the glass up to the screen and a hot mess. But anyway, so I'm going to show you the inches that I have. So it's one inch wide, one inch long or whatever. But anyways, so um, I always just keep one circle on here. Well, I well basically, this is how I have it saved. And whenever I make them, I just make sure I don't save it with whoever's photo I have in there. Um, So just for the sake of I don't want nobody to be like, oh, you're using my pictures in your videos. I don't like that. You know, stuff like that. We're just going to use a celebrity's photo. And, of course, I already am clicking on it. And then you're going to go to Shape Fill and click Picture. After you click picture, you're gonna go from file or wherever you're getting your photos from. All right, and today we're gonna be using May the Stallion. Okay. All right, oh yeah, also this, the reason why this document is this small is because I use photo paper, like actual picture paper that you use. And most, I mean, the average size photo paper is four by six. And to go to your words to change that is, if I can remember where it's at, is it this? Yeah, okay. So you're gonna go to layout, go to size, and you're gonna go down to four by six. It's, now it is some different four by six on here, but I mean, they all the same. Yeah, like you have these, they all the same. I don't use almost all of them. All right, so. Here is Meg. I know this looks whatever, but anyways, um, so we don't click on her. Go back to shape format. Nope, I like picture format. And over here where you see crop, you either can keep it how it is, cause Word is gonna automatically put it like what they feel like look best, or you can fill it, which make it bigger. Usually that. That one, if you really want to, like, focus on the person's face, you can use that one. Um, you don't want to use fit because now your corners is white and they shown down look right. But I usually use fill if it's, like, a good picture and it's got everything that I need. If it's one where they want their whole body and stuff, more than likely I just leave it however it came on there um, when I insert it in the circle. Okay, so anyway, y'all gonna have to, you know, you know, bear with me because this is my first video. I don't really do stuff like this, okay? I don't really like talking on video because my voice is ugly. A lot of people say I sound like a man, but anyways, besides the point, cut a sis some slack, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do, you know, we're gonna zoom in on Meg. 
beautiful face and you know this is the gq cover that she just did earlier this week or maybe last week whatever okay period all right so now we're gonna go to file and we're gonna print this now also y'all have to be mindful all this depends on what you use like everything down to the printer that you use down to the paper that you want to use how you print it out what glue you use all this because it's gonna be different for everything i know for from when i first started but we'll get more into that when we're actually making the actual bubble tray all right so since i'm using photo paper photo paper is well they have it on here but if i was on my old laptop it will say it will say HP photo paper, and then it will say like glossy. So you only need to put it on photo paper if you're using glossy paper. You don't have to specifically be photo paper, but if you're using glossy, put it on photo paper. Or if your computer say glossy, then put it on glossy. All right, so we changed it to that. Press OK. Now we're gonna print. And then I'll be back once it prints. All right, so now that we done printed off Meg, let's get into her. And this is the photo paper, it's very glossy. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all the tools you need. You're gonna need some scissors, some glue. I use locked it. That's the one I use to put it with the glass. And this is the liquid one that I use for the back. So this one is gel. And they're expensive. This, because I want to make sure it's secure. Basically a hole puncture. 25 mm or one inch. Bezel, bubble tray, whatever they call it, and a glass dog. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this. So I try to cut it close near it. And then I take this and I do it this way. And say this ghetto and all of that. I'm trying to make sure it okay. Alright. And there go Meg. Now we're gonna take this. I'm gonna clean it off. I just clean it off with with some clothing or um, a washcloth. All right, there's that. I'm gonna take this one. This is the one you can find in like a car section of the store. Um, the one that I use may usually use. It's the same thing. It's just blue. The edges are blue, and you can find it in like the craft section or in Michaels. But it's literally about three dollars. You can find it in um, Dollar General too, but it also depends on which Dollar General you go to. So I do this for well, I just count to five, and then I just consider that enough. And sometimes I like to spread it out. Because where a lot of people mess up, including myself when I first started, it don't cover it up all the way. Like, it be on there. It just didn't like maybe the edges got like a bubble. Well, it looked like a bubble, but it really just ain't got no glue there. Okay, so I'm going to say that's enough. Now, I do usually use a lot of this because I want to make sure it's covered all the way. So, you're going to probably see it spread to the edges. All right, so then we're just going to lay that on there. And we're gonna press it until you see the glue go to the edges. And then I'm gonna hold it for about 40 seconds. And what I mean by 40 seconds, I just count 40. Count 
count up to 40 in my head. And a lot of time my fingers do get stuck, so there goes some glue, so. All right, so there go May, and please disregard the ring light. That's just how it's shown on it. So usually I do, you say it's ghetto, whatever you wanna call it, I don't care, cause guess what, get the work done. So the photo paper that I use, I don't fold it in half. And as you can see, the photo paper I use is HP every day. So I'm gonna just clean up the edges with it. Just clean up all the excess that's around it. Okay. I'm just making sure. I usually let this sit, but for the sake of the video. Since I'm doing this on top of paper, I mean, paper gonna get stuck. So we're just gonna cut off the edges of the paper that's not this paper. And uh, you know you can see like some buildup of the glue from when I did that. But I'ma tell y'all how I do to clean that up. I ain't gonna show it because it's kind of yellow. I ain't gonna even lie. But it works. All right, so now we're gonna use the red one for the inside. I do a little dot up here, a little dot there. And spread it out. You really don't wanna use too much of this because then once you put it on there and if it end up coming out of it, then you have to clean up the edges and all that. And I'm using black just because not that many people buy black. I could use rose gold, but, but anyway. I really just be trying to get all that in there. Because I want this thing to survive, okay? Natural causes, okay? I need this to last a long time. Alright, so now we're going to put this in. And, you know, you got to make sure you're going to little level up if I can get it to turn. Alright. You went in there pretty good, but usually I use this my pliers sometimes if you don't go in there all the way and this is it and since I'm kind of running out of um, what is it called ink it didn't come out as good but anyway this is some little scraper thing I don't know it came out of the Dollar tree get out some of the glue now like I said this is the way I do it you all always can find a simpler way but it took me a long time to find a way that actually worked it for me. So, cause like I would be upset because I was like, I got to, you know, I got to figure out how to do this. Oops. Because when I first started doing it, um, I was doing Black Lives Matter ones. Sis did come out a little crooked, but honestly, when you buy the bubble trays that's already made, with the designer names and stuff, a lot of them be crooked. No shade, but, and I get it from the actual, you know, the actual vendor, and a lot of them do be crooked. So, so there go man. Now, I'm gonna show y'all one that's old from when I very first started making these. And this was using Mod Podge. As you can see, it looks a hot mess. And I used it some kind of matte paper that they had in the stores. Um, I had got it from, damn, what the hell that place called? Office Depot. But anyways, I used this little hand sanitizer spray to clean it off. This is really the last step that I do, but anyway, I'm just doing it now because of the video. Yeah, use my little towel. Alright, so that's that. The edges and stuff do need to be cleaned off. You can use something like this. But I mean, this, this only gonna happen if you use a lot. Like, I use too much of the inside glue. The glue that I use for the inside. <clears throat> and that made this happen. So, you know... 
is what it is, baby girl. This is just for the video. Okay, so anyways, usually when glue get on there here, and this is just something that I tried just because I was like, this is an oil, and I was like, oil usually can get up grimy stuff. And I tried it one day, and it worked. And I was like, sure. But anyways, you know, get you some coconut oil. And it actually make it, them appear shiny. Like, once you clean off the oil with the hand sanitizer or alcohol, whatever you want to use, once you, like, scrape any assets off with the coconut oil and then clean it with alcohol or hand sanitizer, whatever you want to use, it appears real shiny afterwards. Even after you don't wipe the coconut oil. But, yeah, I usually take some coconut oil, rub it on there, or just rub it in the areas where the glue is at. But it like softens up the glue and and it comes off easy instead of just like scraping it off with something like kind of sharp or a razor. But anyways, if you're using Mod Podge and if Mod Podge worked for you, because let me tell you. Okay, well this is bad, but I do have something that's good, but they in pictures I ain't got them with me. Um well, hold up, that's what I'm doing. It's all down there. It's something that I have to redo, but anyways, let me see. They don't look that bad. I mean, they look bad, but they're not that bad. Then there's some that didn't come out that bad. And this was months ago when I first started these. But yeah, these are some that I had from the matte paper that when I was doing them, I just still had them. Um, let me see. This is also... This is probably when I first started making them. And for the ones that was like I considered mess ups, I just kept them for myself. Or I gave them away for like a dollar or for free. But yeah, as you can see, it's got like some glue or something missing right there. And then all uh, right there. And see, that's what was making me mad. Like when I first started making these with the other paper I was using, it was like bleeding, like the Mod Podge. And I had both, I had the matte and the glossy one. Um, it would bleed, it would bleed through. Not all of them, but certain ones, like if it had white on there or some red, it was gonna bleed. But for me, what I found out that worked when I was using Mod Podge was using the glossy one on matte paper. I know a lot of people said use glossy with glossy, matte with matte, but that just wasn't working for me. Um, and the type of printer I have is a HP DeskJet. Honestly, probably the most popular printer, desk printer that people have. Um, I have the blue one. It's a purple one, which is an older model, but the blue one is blue. It's blue, gray. And mint green and the three colors you can choose from, but they just trims. They all white. <clears throat> Damn, why my throat sign is so dry? Anyways, but yeah, you could do that. Um, get one of them. They kind of expensive. They like eighty nine dollars. I got mine from Target. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, you don't have to use this glue, but I will say, like when I first was looking this up, trying to figure out how to make these, and you know, going to YouTube. Looking at old videos, trying so that people try. And I remember I came across, it was some little arts, artsy website, like some kind of craft website. And I was reading what the woman said that she used. And one of them said they used this, but I still did not want to try it. I did not want to keep trying to go with the other ones. I even have E60, I mean E600, whatever. I don't like that because the one I got, it just be squeezing out. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it stinks. And everything else. I don't try this. It bled through like it was terrible. Don't try some glue out of Dollar Tree. It was terrible. And I ain't like the way this was coming out, so I never even tried it. See, it's probably because it just kept squeezing out on its own, so I was like, I ain't got time. But yeah, but honestly, I feel like super glue probably works the best. It probably didn't have to be this kind, just probably any. But I will say, whatever kind of super glue you use for the one that you attaching it to the dome, get gel. Because the liquid kind just going to soak through. Because I don't try that too before. 
so yeah you know that's the end of the video and if y'all like my video you know what to do anyways and if y'all want me to you know make more videos maybe showing you how to make apple watch bands or how i make my charm braces well i already kind of got a video there that i tried to do on real or whatever on instagram but anyways or you know some tips or something just something that y'all want to know just let me know but yeah subscribe to the channel you know jewels deluxe and that's on that see y'all next time <laughs>